Hello everybody, and today uh, we're going to be installing some stuff for Windows 2000 today. So here I have a fresh copy of Windows 2000 Professional, all nice and ready to use. If we go to here, um, zoom into this for a second. Uh, you, you can see all the specs of this. We got 480 megabytes of RAM, 1.30 gigahertz processor with Windows 2000 Service Pack 4. So let's go ahead and start the process. And the first thing that we're going to need to do is update Internet Ex Explorer. So let me actually go ahead and sign into my network for a minute. Go ahead and join an existing network. Go ahead and join this one. And once and input the key. It's always we always like to hide characters as we type. And now we can actually open up Internet Explorer. So here we go. Uh, web page unavailable offline. We're going to connect. Uh, try again. Hey, apparently it does not want to load any websites. I don't... Mm -hmm. Wait, did it save that network? I don't think we saved it. Again, we have to put in this password. And we'll go ahead and hit finish. Okay, now it should work. Hopefully. Oh, now it's not working. That's kind of weird. Uh, it's strange. Let's go ahead and try reopening the thing. And let's see if it actually loads. Uh, we don't appear to get anything on the screen. We're just getting a. Uh, oh, okay, it's working. Uh, always display the. Nah, don't display it. Hey, there we go. We got internet on. Uh, to Windows 2000, this is IE5. Uh, this was released in like, um, let me see. Uh, 1999, so it's pretty old. So, we're gonna need to update it with Internet Explorer 6. Which, uh, let me, let me go ahead and open up the installer. All the programs that we're gonna be installing is on this USB flash drive. Appears to be accessing it. Uh, I can't do anything. Okay, here we go. Open up this folder and uh, go ahead and line them up. Auto arrange. Okay, that's much better. Go ahead and run this. This is the installer for IE6. Appears to be extracting a few files. Okay, so it appears to have finished. It took about a few minutes to. Uh, extract everything. It took pretty pretty slow. So, but I suppose uh, what we do now is we go into the IE 6.0 full thing, and we got to find the the this file. Okay, here's the setup for uh, everything. Set the agreement, and it's going to start uh, installing. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. install that. And uh, now we just have to wait for it to install everything, which probably will take about a few minutes. Holy hell, that took a very short time. Like, it went from, like, 3% all the way to, like, 80% in, like, a second. It was, like, very fast. Um, I thought it would take, like, a minute or so, but it's pretty fast. And now we are um, shutting down the computer and rebooting. So, uh, I'm going to show you the full reboot, unedited, this one time, and then uh, the rest of the reboots in this video, they're going to be either sped up or um, cut out. Uh, here's the bootloader screen. As you can see, I do have it all booted with Windows XP. Uh, this is a doll boot between 2000 and XP. I'm not going to be showing you the Windows XP partition today because the title of this video is Windows 2000. So here's the boot screen. It's already loaded like half of itself. I'm trying to reposition the camera here. 
so you can get the best viewing experience out of this video. That seems fine. I turned the lights off in my room. It's like 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's not like 2 a.m. I just turned the lights off because it uh, looks much better. And uh, I want to check the file system. We're going to go ahead and uh, tell it not to and cancel it. And uh, here we are on the boot screen. Uh, I'm not sure how many, how much time that took up, how much time that took because we had to, um, you know, go through the scan disk thing. And we are logging in to Windows. And now it's configuring a few things like browsing services. All right, we have logged into Windows now, and uh, get this out of the way here. And uh, time to run the next program, which is a update or roll up. And uh, we'll go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. This is oh, uh, server error four hundred four. Okay, uh, about Internet Explorer. Here's the information. As you can see, it came out in two thousand and one, almost sixteen years ago. Uh, so it's a pretty old web browser. And um, this is the latest version of. Internet Explorer you can run, so if you want to use Internet Explorer on Windows 2000, you are sort of out of luck. So I'm going to close this, uh, you know, we don't need that. Go ahead and uh, run the next program, which is a update roll-up. Uh, so, I forget what one it is. I think it's this one. Yeah, here we go, this is it. It's a update roll-up. I feel like we're missing a file or two, uh, but that doesn't matter. I can always re-download it. So let's go ahead and wait for this to extract. All right, now it's time to actually install the update rollup. Uh, go ahead and hit next. I agree. Next, and then it's going to actually install all the updates. And um, this doesn't take that long, but I'm still gonna speed it up because. You know, it's not that interesting to watch. Alright, it is done, so we're going to go ahead and restart. So, again, here's that wonderful uh, restart uh, thing. Sped up for your convenience. Alright, so I actually forgot to hit the record button once the uh, computer started finishing booting up when I installed the um, update rollup. And uh, when my camera wasn't recording, I actually installed a few programs. Uh, but I'll just give you a basic rundown of what I did when uh, the camera wasn't recording because I forgot to turn it on. Uh, basically, we installed the Windows Update Agent, which uh, basically this... Um, updates Windows Update. It's an update that updates Windows Update and as you can see it's already installed. I installed it off camera. I originally wanted to show me recording myself. Um, I, bleh. I originally wanted to um, record myself installing the Windows Update Agent installer but I forgot to turn the camera on so yeah that didn't re get recorded so unfortunately yeah but and uh, we also installed the Roots update. It basically adds some sites to the uh, whitelist. Uh, basically, it sort of prevents Windows Update from um, like being like a virus site to Internet Explorer. Like it prevents Internet Explorer from thinking that Windows Update is malware. And I already installed this. It will do it again. But uh, yeah, I installed some stuff off camera. So. Mm. And I originally wanted to have it on camera, but I forgot to record, so, yeah, kind of a bummer. And now I'm going to restart the computer, and I'll come back when it has been rebooted. Alright, we are back. We installed the update roll-up, 
and the Windows Update Agent and the Roots Update. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to open up uh, Windows Update and update our system. Now this is the most, you know, most like longest part of the entire updating Windows 2000 thing. Uh, it takes a really long time to do update the computer using Windows Update. And uh, there's a lot of updates you have to install, and uh, we got an error code already, so let me go ahead and fix this really quickly. I don't know what uh, error code means what, but uh, let me go ahead and uh, look this up, because, uh, yeah. Alright, so I managed to fix the problem. It was something that I forgot about. Uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to go to Tools up here at the um, Alt thing. i got to go to Internet Options here. And it'll bring up this little window here. Let me go ahead and uh, resize this. And I like this. And uh, what you need to do is you need to go to a Privacy. Actually, no, you need to go to Advanced. And you need to uh, check something. You need to go all the way under to Security. And uh, right here, you need to uh, check Use TLS 1.0. You need to select that. Otherwise Windows Update will not work. And you also need to go all the way up here and um, where is it? There's a, another thing that you need to do. It was a automatic automatically here we go. At browsing you need to make sure that automatically checked for Internet Explorer updates is not checked. So once you do that, Windows Update should work. If it doesn't work, uh, then you could uh, just complain in the comments. This is not a tutorial video. Uh, this is just me um, installing stuff on Windows 2000. So once you're here, you want to select Custom. Get to check for the latest updates for the computer. It will, it will take a while. Okay, here we are. It's got a little thing here, and uh, it says that you need to upgrade some of Windows Update's components. So I'm going to do that. And now it's actually installing some updates. Uh, oh, come on. Installing WinHTTP. Uh, let me go ahead and resize that. Okay, that's better. And uh, this is going to take a very short time, but when we actually begin installing the actual updates, there's going to be like a few hundred updates to install. Uh, that's what happens when you install a fresh new um, version of an operating system almost 10 years after it's released. Because Microsoft probably released a lot of updates that fix a lot of security uh, vulnerabilities. Like, uh, let me see, let me name a few of uh, important security vulnerabilities. Like uh, the LASS.exe thing, uh, the RDP thing. There's a lot of vulnerabilities in Windows. So, I'm going to go ahead and restart. And again, we will come back when the computer has rebooted. Yay, we'll be back in a minute. We are back. I had to turn off the lights because it's, it looks much better when you have the lights off. All right, so we've uh, now we need to go to Windows Update again, and it should be much faster now that we've installed the components for it. It's gonna check the computer and go to Custom, and now it's checking for the latest updates. Uh, we should probably turn on automatic updates over here. Uh, every day at like 12 p.m. That sounds good. And uh, yeah, it's taking a while. Okay, we are ready to install. We gotta install all of these wonderful updates. Look at all these updates. That's that's a lot of updates. And uh, we can install software updates. Uh, we we need to install all of these updates. And uh, we also need to install these uh, updates, these are like drivers and stuff, like audio and wireless. Uh, that's 93 updates, that's a lot of updates. And 5 hours and 17 minutes, holy fuck. So let's go ahead and do this, install the updates. And begin the time lapse of installing updates. <laughs>
reason the it said that the USB thing got ejected or something. Uh, I'm not sure. There's actually a storm outside, so uh, I think the storm is a uh, it's not good. But uh, we're gonna continue doing this because yeah. So I showed a little bit of Windows update. I'm not gonna like show the entire thing because remember I have limited time. Uh, I have limited space on the uh, camera's hard drive, and I also have a limited amount of space on the um, uh, the uh, you know time that I can do this. So um, yeah. I'm just going to wait for it to install all the updates off camera, so see you when they've been all installed. Bye. Alright, it's done installing the updates. We're going to go ahead and restart the computer. Okay, the computer is rebooted. I'm going to go ahead and open up Windows Update. Alright, we are back in Windows Update. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select these. Uh, these updates must be installed separately. Uh... Yeah, there's a lot of updates that must be installed separately. I'm going to go ahead and install uh, these updates down here. And I can't really show them for some reason, but uh, let me go ahead and select them. And I'll see if I can install the software updates also. Um, yeah, we'll also... Why do they have to be installed separately? Okay, I'll just go ahead and... Uh, Wants to install Windows Media Player 9. Uh. Okay, fine. We'll go ahead and install DirectX. And, um. Yeah. And, uh, now it's installing DirectX here. pretty uh, fast and uh, now it's done does it want me to restart okay we'll go ahead and restart the computer again all right we are back on Windows I'll go ahead and open up Windows update and I'll come back when uh, we open up Windows update Alright, so now we have to install the uh, Internet Explorer 6 Service Pack 1. Go ahead and install that. Take about a minute for it to install. Okay, it wants me to set it up. It uh, looks very similar to the uh, Internet Explorer 6 setup. It looks exactly like the uh, Windows... Uh, Internet Explorer setup, but it's actually kind of is. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and wait for it to install. It should install very fast because of um because of uh <laughs> should install very very fast. Oh, it's actually downloading it from the internet, so it could take a little bit shorter. I mean, a little bit longer. Look at how big that number's going up. That's okay. It's stuck. Appears to be stuck there, but it's downloading it. Alright, we're ready to restart, so I'm going to go ahead and restart, and come back once again when, uh, it's finished restarting. Alright, it's finishing up a few things, and then we're going to be able to, um, we're almost done with the, uh, updating process, uh, almost done with Windows Update, and then we got to install some, like, unofficial kernel modifications, and then we'll pretty much be done, and then we'll be able to, uh, use Windows 2000 in 2017. Okay, here we are. We're gonna go ahead and open up Windows Update again. And, uh, we gotta load up the update website. And then we gotta wait for it to check for updates. Again. And uh, here we go. We had to install 20 updates. That was pretty weird. Okay, we'll go ahead and install those. And again, this is gonna take a really long time, so I am going to cut this out. Alright, it's done. Let's go ahead and restart again. Alright, we have booted back into Windows again. Uh, 
very uh, long and boring process. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and open up. Oh, there's two Internet Explorer things. That's kind of a uh, weird. I'll go ahead and delete this other one. <sighs> yeah, send it to the recycling bin, and there we go. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to need to start Windows Update again. So we go to Start Menu, Windows Update. And uh, here's Windows Update, so... Custom, go ahead and wait for it to check for updates for our computer. Always a wonderful process. Let's see what else we got on this machine. Games. Pinball. Oh, I did I don't want that to start in full screen. Oh my god. I guess we can play some pinball while our uh, machine updates. I'll actually try this. It's gonna be hard to do this, but uh, this is uh, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and just wait for it to check for updates. Okay, now we gotta install some uh, net framework updates. And now it's being downloaded and installed. Again, we're gonna go ahead and restart. Uh, there is just one last update to install, and it's Windows Media Player 9. So let's go ahead and install it. Okay, go ahead and, uh, yep, go ahead and review and install updates. And, yeah, this is the final time we'll have to install an update, so... Whew! That's, uh... It's been a few hours since I started, uh, the video. It's probably not... It's probably been about two hours. It's preparing it for download, and I'll be right back when it finishes installing. Oh, great. Now we gotta install the Windows Media Player. Uh, it has, like, an install program. Gotta wait for it to fully install. Okay, welcome to Windows Media Player 9. Go ahead and yeah, 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 finish. And uh, here's Windows Media Player 9. Woohoo! And uh, everything's done. Wonderful. Uh, there's Windows Media Player, and uh, everything's fully installed. Now we gotta install the unofficial kernel extensions, which, uh, we're almost done. So, what we need to do is we first need to install the, uh, Internet Explorer 6.0. Uh, it's an official, like an unofficial update hotfix thing. It's a hotfix. We're gonna go ahead and install it. Yeah, agree to this. And uh, it's going to install the hotfix. And, uh, we'll have to reboot the computer, I think, two more times, and then we will not have to reboot again. So, we are almost done. Go ahead and restart, and we will reboot once again. Alright, uh, we have finished uh, rebooting the computer, and we're ready to do the last thing of um, setup. We're almost there. What we need to do is we need to install a unofficial um, thing. It doesn't appear to be on here, so I'm going to have to go and download it from uh, the website. So, be back in a minute. Alright, I've put the files on the USB drive and we're ready to run it. So, this is a uh, kernel extension. Uh, unextended, I mean, extended kernel project thing. Extracting files. We are almost done. And, uh, here we go. So, what we need to do now is we need to select a few things. Uh, let me see what I'd like to select. Uh, DirectX 10 sub NT6 theories like this. Uh, yeah, go ahead and hit execute. And uh, you see some command windows open, and then here's the main window. 
and I go ahead and hit next. I agree. And it's going to install the unofficial kernel extension. All right, it is done, and we are going to start the computer for the very last time. This is the last time you're going to see it shut down, and that's who. And then we got to do one last thing, and then I can end the video. Um, so, if you've been watching this so far, well, it's probably not going to be that long, but I've been here for like two hours installing everything on this. Uh, go ahead and start this up. And uh, this is the last time you're going to see this thing boot up. Well, you might see it boot up in a future video, but in this video, it's going to be the last time. Okay, here we are, so I'll go ahead and, uh, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and, uh, put some files in a folder. What we need to do is we need to go to our Windows 2000 hard drive here. We need to create a new folder. Uh, come on, we need to make a folder called, uh, new folder. And name it. App. Uh, you know, app comp. We can you can name it whatever, but I recommend naming it app comp. We need to add two files to this. You drop the uh, reg.exe, and uh, there's also a CMD file app comp.cmd, and there we go. We can run this, and uh, it's basically a script that will allow us to run uh, Windows XP based software on Windows 2000. Here's the script, it's written entirely in batch. Let me go and move it over here. Here's all the code, you know, do what you want with it. There, there will be a download link in the description. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna actually um, I think we're pretty much done at this point. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a new start menu folder. Go ahead and go zoom out. Make a n go to explore. And, uh, need to auto arrange this. Jesus Christ. Go ahead and make a new folder. We'll call it app comp. We'll make a program files uh, directory for this. Tile is vertically. So go to there. You go to here and we gotta make a oh, shortcut. Right back, I gotta drop the girls okay. Okay, that's my dad talking to me. He's going someplace with the girls. Uh but uh yeah here we go. We just need to make a shortcut to this and uh now we can use this. It's pretty simple. Uh, the concept is very simple. I'll be doing a more in-depth uh, video about the thing. So we'll go ahead and run the uh, appcomp.cmd file here. It, it wants us to drag a exe file. And uh, I don't really have any exe files that um, run with Windows XP, but I do have one. I just got it. Uh, I, used to ha I used to have a uh, VLC on this. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Windows 2000 is now fully updated. You can run Windows XP software. This isn't really a tutorial video, but I've already upgraded my uh, PC. I've upgraded everything on this. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's now over. So have a nice day and goodbye.